Welcome to the Zentangle Project Pack Series number five. My name is Rick. Hey, I'm Maria. And this is the final video in our series. Sorry to say, we've had so much fun with this. This has been great. So many cool things. And uh, we thought that we would show you all of our work we did in preparation for this project. And a little bit more than, yeah, what yeah. we did on the videos and all of the uh, make ready, yeah. Yeah, so a lot of these things, <laughs> a lot of them uh, happened because uh, we started on a project and uh, under the camera and forgot to turn the camera yeah. on. So we'd get three quarters of the way through this really great piece and then then had to start over again. And rather than start over the same project, we started a different one. So a lot of these <laughs> were, were supposed to be in the project. <laughs> so one of the things that we did is we took, I think we did the video on this one, but we went and found some frames. We got like old frames all over the house. and Just, just to sort of show you what it would look like with a frame yeah. on it. Yeah, and we actually love going to old, you know, finding old frames and, and antique stores and... Uh, One of my ad advice things about uh, framing, if you're going to use old frames, is to find the frame first because it's really easy to cut mm. a piece of paper to fit yeah. a frame, whereas it's hard to get a frame to fit a piece of paper. Yeah. So uh, that that will make a lot of sense when you start looking at, you know, small frames in, in antique shops. And what I do is I, if I see one I like, I just buy it and put it aside and then someday, I'm going to use it in one of my projects. Okay, so that's, that's, let's see, what do we have next here? So I think, uh, I think we might have seen this one. Oh, uh, I don't think, uh, maybe in the beginning, yeah. yeah. So this was a brooch that uh, came from Rick's family, some one of his aunties. And it's the most beautiful brooch. And it just, every time I would put it on, I would take it off. It was so formal and... Um, I thought, well, wouldn't it be neat to have it on the wall somewhere? It's so pretty. So I, it was one of the first ones I did for this pack. And um, I love the different uh, colors that went together mm. on this. So you can, the blue, the black, the, uh, the brown. brown. Yeah. yeah, really pretty. And the light and dark. So that's really awesome. Yeah, and, and some of these things, I, uh, afterwards I would add a little colored pencil and things like that. So it, it wasn't really uh, part of what we did, but what you can do with it for, for other things. And this was the one that we did with Wyatt. And I loved this energetic, beautiful, fun, crazy little fr um, cartouche. Um, I'm hoping you guys try this. This well, is fun. I also like the, the whimsical border of the frame mm -hmm. matching the, the very whimsical string-esque um, cartouche that you did there. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, a new one. Well, this, you know, we had to put envelopes into your project pack so that you could either treat your pieces as a, uh, a greeting card or um, do whatever you want. But then I thought, well, let's do something with the envelope. And so there's Indy and Mazzy going, oh, Grandma, Grandma. So those are different things that you can do. So we put that in. That's not where she lives, but, you know, you can get the idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, well, this is one we did. I think, Maria, did you do? No, we didn't do this no, one. No, I don't think we did this one, on. Uh, um, but I think Molly used this technique in, in the piece that she did with the uh, embedded uh, pattern here, and I had embedded a heart and this beautiful little touching uh, uh, photograph. So this was Martha's, and uh, oh, I just love this piece that she did. Um, it, it's so it complements the uh, the black and or the brown tone photo that's here, uh, just so nicely. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And I know that all of these are going to be framed in our house, oh, so yeah, I, yeah. I'm I'm trusting that a lot of the things that you guys did uh, are going to find a frame and, and a beautiful place to uh, to enjoy them. And this was the first one we did, and. and uh, uh, simple, uh, easy to tangle. Didn't it didn't take very long. So if you were going to do it to, as a gift for somebody or quickly on a greeting card, this this is your go-to. And we found this, uh, which is just really awesome. This is a uh, our car a cartouche of of the sky. I think. Well, right? I, it was a cartouche that I was going to put some lettering in, but I didn't have. I didn't know which lettering I was going to put in there yet. So. I think I had a one word thing, but I just liked the looks of, of the, the brown Knight's Bridge in there. 
What is the what is the sky? Was that watercolor pencil? It was a a, a turquoise and pink um, watercolor pencil with a lot of water mixed in. And this was uh, one on a tile with some Huggins and uh, off centered. I like the idea of doing something off center for a change. I wanted you to see it for that for that reason. And this is one of the prototypes, the original prototypes I had done. So that um, it's, that's Ricky when he was like, well, how old are you there? Three? Young. <laughs> Three, four. He was an only child, so there were a lot of pictures of him. <laughs> but I love the, I love the, uh, the, uh, a little bit of the blue in the sky and the, the, the uh, brown and gray. It's really and, nice. And then the off-centeredness of mm -hmm. that is very cool. Mm -hmm. And here's the one that Julie did on her video. Yeah. And this is Arbus. Arbus, I believe. Arbus, yeah. yeah. So Julie did, I think, four pieces to prepare for this pe this um, session, and she used basically the same look on each one, and 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 tried it on different, uh, using different tangles. That's so cute. Look at her. It's her niece, Sophia. Right. And. Here's another version another of that. I don't think and she shared this one before. This one's really cool because the, the photograph, uh, she she cut something on the edge of the photograph, she, and, and the photograph wouldn't have been usable, but by having her just part the way there is such a sophisticated uh, yeah. idea. I love this, and the white space and the really everything cool. about it. And this is fun. This is uh, Julie's grandmother um, with... Desi Arnaz, her, her grandmother was a dance instructor. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at, you could almost feel the dance in the uh, in the border. It's so lovely, really cool. Very cool. And this was the prototype, another one I did of the of Martha and Molly, and uh, used that embedded uh, thing to put M and M here from the girls. Uh, I love this piece. This this is uh, Rick's auntie's. Probably the ones that gave us the uh, the brooch, right? Right. Um, and uh, we, I love this this here, this just combination of these colors and the, the Knights Bridge and the leaves and the everything about that. And there's that that tangle I did three and three, which I really like. Yeah, I like the uh, the this on the bottom and and this on the top. It's, it's just really really sweet. And again, that that uh, use of poke leaf mm -hmm. as a border. Spe another, speaking yeah. of another prototype, um, me and Molly, uh, Martha. Nice colors. And this is the one that Molly ended up using right in right, her video. On her video. It's yeah. awesome. Love it. Love it. I love the brown on the on the uh, tan paper. And, and look at how impactful the white, those little white orbs are, mm -hmm. just selectively added in. And how she made the heart out of the, uh, right? out of the whole thing was really nice, sweet. Everybody's fighting for that one. Yeah. And this is one of the prototypes I did uh, really early on when we first decided to do this project, before we even knew what we were going to give you as um, supplies. Um, uh, so I had added some, you know, colored pencil, and so we're, we're showing you these things where you can take it a little further. Um, but this is a great uh, shape. So first I did the, the square, and then the border of the square, and then I added, you know, these shapes, and then um, ordered that. And then the shading of it just makes it, like, very yeah, three-dimensional. Yeah, three-dimensional. That's cool. So these were the buttons, which everybody really loved the buttons. <clears throat> and uh, just to give you an idea of how it looks in a frame, um, and uh, an idea of maybe grandparents, you know, your grandmother and your grandfather's buttons, and, and it, maybe the dates they were married or something, it would make a, a really neat kind of a, a gift, maybe for somebody else in the family or to them or on their anniversary, any of those kind of things. These are all different options. This is a penny that we found on one of our walks. and uh, So I don't know if we pointed this out the last time, but the border here is a collection of M's and R's. Yeah. Yeah. 
So just repeating, 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 repeating. Well, okay, so you can see the M on the outside, and then the M on the inside, and, and the R is where that has the, um, let's see, right, right here where the, the crescent yeah. moon is. So those are letters that sort of disappear into the border. It's kind of a neat thing. Did we, we didn't do this one. Oh, right. This one I love. This one uh, is uh, Indiana. And you can see that I wrote her name around here, Indy, 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 all the way around as part of the, uh, the, the, the uh, border tangle. It's kind of fun. And it looks just so nice. These are frames I had just gotten at, like, I don't know, Home Goods or something. They were, there was a whole series of them that were just beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Pattern. It's a, a heavy metal. Beautiful. And they weren't that expensive. Let's see here. And these are some that we had done uh, at different times. Again, this is Rick's aunt. I love these pictures of this series of pictures of his aunts. And I did it on a, uh, on a Zendala. So I put the square picture in the middle and then folded these over and then it became uh, something that just stands. I added, I added a, a weight in the back so it stays standing. Isn't that fun? Look at that. And when you see it from the side, there's the side. It's just so lovely, lovely. Again, the same thing with this. This was a uh, uh, apprentice tile, a black right. apprentice tile. And we put the picture in the middle, cut off the bottom, and then, oh, we, we cut this heart out Very here. Cool. It's Molly and Nazi. And there's M, and M for Molly and Nazi. And it, they stand up really nicely. So if you wanted somebody to send somebody a photograph and didn't want to frame it, or, you know, this is, this is your baby there. And, and again. <laughs> with that same idea. Mazzy. And uh, that so was a. This, this one stays because, again. I have a nickel there. So I just did a little wedge. It didn't even need uh, glue. Yeah. And, and this one's. It's just so cute to have on a little table or, or a shelf. Uh, it's a great way, you know, if you don't have a frame that fits the picture. So this was just a, uh, a tan tile, a apprentice, uh, I mean, a Renaissance tile. And there's Molly and Nick. Um, this was another one of her prototype pieces that she <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> went I through. I think she mentioned this in, 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 in doing it, that she, oops, went over the edge of the painting uh, of the picture and then just, well, let's just make it part of the whole presentation. Yeah. And this is using the uh, embedded letter approach. Technique, yeah. 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 And then this is one of one of my favorites because one of the reasons it's such a favorite is that this never would have been done had it not been for what was a real at the moment tra tragedy tragedy yeah. of this uh, these these shelves with this one uh, well baby you, you and, tell the story so my dad had given me a teacup and saucer that had belonged to his mother and it was the only thing um, that anybody in my family owned that belonged to my grandmother, and uh, I had it in a very special spot in a very special cabinet, and the shelves just came down one day, I don't know, because I walked too hard, or I don't know, we live in an old house, and everything in the whole in the whole shelf got destroyed, and I cried and cried, I sat there and, and picked up all these pieces, and I put them in, lovingly put them away in a box, almost like an urn, and decided that someday I'll, I'll make something out of it, and the other day, I just came out, and it was right before Christmas, so I decided we were designing this um, project pack. And I took out the pieces, and I started adding some tangles on the edges. I don't know if you can see them very well. Just sort of make sure, make it, make it look like I want these edges to be known, that this is what happened. And, and what ended, I, I, I was able to make one for all my six brothers and sisters. And, uh, and then I have one to keep, too. And that didn't happen until I broke it. So that's a great one. And uh, this is such a sweet picture, uh, black and white of Indian Mazzy. And uh, Molly did one border on the tan uh, with, the, the, again, the embedded letter technique. And then she mounted that on a black tile and went over it again with white. So it has this really beautiful layered look of... Uh, uh, multiple uh, color schemes. And then using that same embedded letter technique, 
and here this is in her journal in her journal which is a whole nother ball game there you, you right. can start adding photographs to your journal intermingling then with your your uh, tangling which would be so nice to you know every once in a while open up to some of your favorite photos you know that are in there it's a nice thing to do and, and another one this is another one of those frames that I had gotten at home goods and it was perfect for Rick's uh, coin that he framed it's just so pretty it has a, a, some bronze highlights in the in the verdigris colors here in the frame just really striking so one of the neat things I forgot to mention in the video is not only does this coin have crescent moon, but it's got the Zentangle logo. Yep, so there it I is. just yeah. love that whole concept of that opening with, within something really hard. You've got this, this opening and let, let things through. And then this is one of the favorites here of mine. So this was uh, the piece that I had done with the... Uh, gold ink on the black paper and this frame which is really weird had an old photograph in it and it's actually made out of cardboard or, or paper mm -hmm. it, it looks like it's metal but it's not and it was the perfect frame for this it, it just fit it so nicely and uh, this again was uh, an old watch that was in Rick's family and I did a little tiny tiny little uh, zentangle and stuck it in there with some nail polish over it to sort of protect it it's so, a really nice piece. So this is one of the videos, and it's a, it's a great, great time piece. Yes. Right? Yeah. And, and one of the last things that we wanted to talk about is if you're still looking for inspiration, um, our book, uh, The Primer, Volume 1, is loaded with cartouches. Maybe you haven't noticed it, but even just, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Just the cover, oh, yeah. this cartouche, and and what you, what you you can get out of this is all the different tangles that you can use and different ideas. Um, there's another one, and they're they're actually it's every um, uh, chapter heading is a different one and different tangles because it has to. I, I use the tangles that um, we were talking about in the um, in. The, in the chapter. So if you don't already have a, uh, a Zentangle primer, um, this is the time to get it. So we just didn't know that we were doing cartouches at the time, but... Uh... Well, I probably did, but, you know, it's because my background in, in art and, and, and my, my work as an artist has always been sort of commercial, you know, using things for sale or, or to be published or to be reproduced as opposed to a painting on the wall. That, that was my strong suit. And these are all really cool. Uh, gives you some great ideas of how to manipul manipulate your tangles into a border. This is one of my favorites and this is on the cover of the Reticula and Fragment book too, which is a whole other thing that's a, a worthwhile investment. I use it all the time, and this I think. Look at look at see all the different things, and this is like this has got a very Muka esque look. I mean, I mean Muka as the artist did a lot of things like this with these arcs and and circles and things in the circles and things in the corners, and uh, very fun fun. So. Thank you so much. This was a great series. Thanks for playing along with us. We, we saw so many beautiful things posted on the I app, know. and it's, it, it's so gratifying to us to see them in, in, in uh, practice. And, and uh, you, you hear us talk about the app, and uh, we have an app that is called Zentangle Mosaic, and it's available for Android and for iPhone and iPad. And uh, there's no cost to download it and search and see all of the tiles uh, that people have posted under the hashtag PP05 for Project Pack 05. So you can just download that and and do a search and see all the everything that people have posted. So uh, so there's another part of the app too where if you uh, you if if you subscribe if you, you can you can post and comment you can yeah. post and comment and then the, there's also other things that are available to yeah. people. So we have step outs for subscribers and special videos for subscribers kitchen, kitchen and, table tangles yeah. and things like that. Yeah.
So uh, again, thank you so much for playing and uh, continue to uh, enjoy this and rewatch the videos and maybe do some other things with those beautiful keepsakes that you come across in your house. Well, see you later. Bye. Bye now.